passage of the resolution became necessary following a motion by the chief whip of the house Atinuke Belu who complained about the activities of the interim transportation committee alleging infringement on her privileges by the committee chairman at Deniyi. Other members in their separate submissions took turn to narrate their encounters with the chairman accusing him of abuse of office, high-handedness and disrespect to the legislative harm while acting beyond the terms of reference of the committee as spelled out by Governor Dapo Abiodun upon the committee's inauguration. Speaker of the House, Olakunle Uluomo, thereafter directed the acting clerk, DG Adeyemo, to communicate the Assembly's resolution to the Secretary to the State Government. The Chairman and Secretary of the Committee should appear before a special committee of this House on Thursday, 29th of this August, 4th of August, by 2 p.m. yesterday. They have to come and explain what transpired between them and the Honorable Member and to even answer questions on the series of petitions. In another development, the House also appealed to the State Controller of Customs to prevail on the men and officers in the command to discharge their duty with utmost decorum and avoid molestation of farmers and traders in border areas of the state in the guise of preventing importation of contraband goods. This followed complaints from Honorable Jemili Akimbade representing Imekwafun and other members of the House representing constituencies under Ogun West Senatorial District. They bemoaned the travails of their constituents in the hands of security agencies in the border towns who they said claimed to be acting under the executive order of the president. Oluomo stated that the security agents should rather mount the entry points of the nation's border areas and stop harassing farmers doing their legitimate businesses and seizing their farm produce. In Abeokuta, Lekon Agbonde, NT News.